can you become? There's a question from Misha here, Adrian. How do you feel about using, using vision boards to define focus? Now, uh, Misha, when you say vision boards, do you mean mind maps? Because I love mind maps. I had one in the front of the uh, broadcast this morning. Mind maps are awesome, but that's not quite what I mean. Vision boarding is more like an arts and crafts project. Yeah, okay. I know. I, I know. I know the vision board. It's actually a really good exercise. Um, yeah. The, the part they, the part they leave out um, is that a vision board is nothing if you're not feeling it while you're doing it. Would someone tell me what a vision board is? To define it or describe it's, it a little it's, better? It's basically like it's basically like a board, and you put like say you want a perfect house, so you put a, you push out your picture of your perfect house. Got it. Or, or, and it, it's a visual to remind you of where you're going and what you want and how where your goals are. And it yeah. changes that it's not static; it's always evolving. No, yeah. The the, the what, what a vision board does is, and you don't need a vision board. What a vision board does is it keeps it in your mind. You're, you're always going to get your dominant thoughts. The thoughts that you, we have about 75,000 thoughts a day. The, to, the dominant thoughts that hold, you hold in your mind are what you're going to achieve. Think of yourself as a, as a vessel. That's all we ever are. And from the very start we were born, anything that we, that's put into our vessel comes out. You can, nothing, that, nothing can come out of us that, is, that we don't put in. And your parents or, or your authorities, your teachers, your family, your friends are all filling up that vessel before they're even consciously aware of it. And they're, they're the beliefs and structures that are, are in, in control of your life until you become aware of them. Is that a vision board? Am I, see that I hang things all over my walls. That's uh, a vision board, yeah. All, all things, look at, this, look at this mess here. This is just who I, I look at things that I want to accomplish, things that I want to remember. That's, that's, that's all, it. That's, all, all over my, let me show you my office here. All over, I have mine, I have uh, dry erase boards, things like that. Here's my, for exercise, I like to look at all these metals and things like that. Uh, that that's proof, right? That's what Adrian was saying, the proof. <laughs> proof, sorry. Pro essentially proof to back up your belief system or to, or to essentially prove to yourself, proof that you are successful in what you do. You, you hang your rewards up on, so you see them all, every time. Yeah, your subconscious needs direction. Your your sub your subconscious is like the um, the main computer. The main computer, but if you have no program in that computer, then it can do nothing. Very good. This is a wonderful time. I didn't know we were going in this direction. I, I, Go ahead. I love that. I just want to say one last thing, Ad Adrian. I really like you know. I really I, I agree with that. But uh, and I also the one thing the reason you can program your subconscious, you know, your Conscious mind is your reasoning mind. It's, it has the ability to accept or reject, but your subconscious mind does not have the ability to reject. It accepts what's fed into it. And if you want to, you can reprogram your mind. And if, if you tell yourself, just like you said, the things foremost in your mind is what you're going to do because that's what you're thinking all day long. And that's why thoughts are so important. If you, you know, Muhammad Ali, when he said, I am the greatest, he didn't start out the greatest. No. He became the greatest because he said it, thought it, felt it most important, which I agree, I agree with you a billion percent on. And then he grew into the greatest. And I think yeah. that is the key to manifesting and becoming great. Nobody starts out great. You have to become great. I yeah. And I think when you like, auto-suggest into your subconscious, sooner or later, that takes over and your actions dictate that. You, I, I, I get, that's how I'd put it. Yeah. Can, I, can I add one thing to that, please? Um, what I wanted to add to that is the words that you tell yourself as you're reprogramming yourself are so important. Like, yeah. if you're making a lifestyle change, for instance, I'm allergic to gluten, corn, and oats, which is pretty challenging. But I don't say I can't eat those things because that sounds like it's prohibitive. Mm -hmm. I don't eat those things. It's mm -hmm. a choice. And We're, you have to be really careful on what level you're talking to yourself. Yeah. I think is what you're both saying. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 like to, I like to say words have extreme importance and no importance. And, what, and they say, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I say, if I talk in a language you don't understand, my words mean absolutely nothing to you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. whereas, whereas if I say a word that has a reference, a strong reference for you, that means everything to you. 
Hmm. Mm-hmm. Napoleon Hill wrote a wonderful book, Think and Grow Rich. Has everyone read this? Yeah. yeah. And the one, you can really define the book in three, three words. Thoughts are things. I, that's exactly right. Yes. Go ahead. And, but I think your thoughts also have to be reasonable. Okay. You have to say, and I think you need to set reasonable incremental goals. Okay. Mm-hmm. You want to do a deal. You want to make $10,000 this week. You talk, you, you do a little research on people have done it. You know, you got to speak to at least five people a day, make three to five offers a day, do three to five follow-ups a day, send letters of intent and contracts and things like that. I think you got, there's got to be some practicality in this imagination, true or false. Yeah. And the, and the, the clearer you are in your, in what it is you want, the more likely you're going to get it. This is an interesting topic. I think we could spend two, three hours on this stuff. It's very good. Anybody else who, uh, who hasn't spoken? Somebody else who hasn't uh, spoken and uh, ask your question if you're, or kick in something and otherwise we'll move on. Who hasn't, uh, who's been quiet today? Who's a cricket? Cricket, huh? <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Just something really, really quick. You know, I guess I'm a simple-minded fellow and uh, the whole thing is